Machine Learning in c -sharp, an introduction to ML.NET. Machine learning uses complex mathematical algorithms or models to train AI. There are many kinds of ML models like simple data classification, forecasting, facial recognition, and more complex models like the familiar large language models such as ChatGPT. ML.NET is an open source cross-platform machine learning framework for use in our Visual Studio projects. Lucky for us, it already contains a bunch of these models for us to choose from, so we don't need to reinvent the wheel. To demonstrate machine learning in C-sharp, we'll use a simple console app in .NET 9. Before we continue, we need to make sure we got the ML Model Builder tool installed. Go to the Tools menu and select Get Tools and Features. In the Modify app, under the .NET Desktop Development Environment, Expand the optional list and make sure ML.NET Model Builder is ticked. If not, tick it and apply the modification. With the ML Model Builder tool installed, you can now right-click your project and select Add Machine Learning Model. Since our model will be evaluating a text sentiment or opinion to determine if it's a positive or negative opinion, we'll call it something like Opinion Model. Next, a wizard will open up to help you develop your ML model. First, it needs to know what type of model you want to create. As you can see, there's quite a number of model types to choose from, from simple data classification to forecasting, object detection, and more advanced natural language processing. Since we only want to know if an opinion or sentiment is positive or negative, we'll choose data classification. This takes us to the next screen where you can choose in which environment your ML model will learn. For the data classification model, only your local environment can be used at this time. So we can simply click the Next Step button to set up our learning data. We'll need to give our ML model some data to train on. For this demonstration, you can download the sentiment labeled sentences.zip file from the link in the description below. Save it somewhere convenient. Unzip the file and you'll find a text file called Yelp labeled. This is the training data we need. If you preview this text file, you'll find it is full of sentiments or opinions from customers with a one or a zero to indicate if it was a positive or negative sentiment. As an option, since the training data in this case is not very big, you can add the text file to your project, maybe in a training data folder. Set the file's build action property to resource and its copy to output directory as copy if newer. This way the file is copied to your compiled folder. Back in Visual Studio, we're still on the add data page in the wizard. Select file for the data source and browse to where your Yelp labeled .txt file is. For the column to predict, select column one. This is the column that contains the ones and zeros we want our model to predict. Click Next Step. On the train page, you can see a summary of your training setup. Below that, it wants to know how long it should train on this data. Change this to 60 seconds. The longer your machine learning model trains and the more data it has to train on, the more accurate your model will be. With that set, you can click Start Training. You can watch in the output window as your model trains itself. Once completed, you can click Next Step. On the Evaluate page, you can see which best machine learning model it found to train on and what its accuracy was. Below that, you can test your model by typing some customer sentiment and clicking the Predict button. Our ML model predicted the text, the crust is not good, is 99% a bad sentiment. We feel pretty happy with the result, so you can click the Next Step button. On the Consume page, you'll see some example code of how to use your ML model in your app. It's a good idea to copy this. We're going to use it in our app in a moment. On the last page in the wizard, you can get some more information about how to deploy and improve your model. Otherwise, we're done, and you can close the wizard tab. In your project, under MB config, you'll see several files that were generated by the steps in the wizard. But let's see how we implement our new model. In the program.cs file, we pasted the example code we copied in the wizard. First, we set up some sample data for our model to evaluate. In this case, our opinion model only requires one text sentence. 
Other types of models like a prediction model may have a lot more input data here. Then we call on our opinion model to predict if this sample data is a positive or negative sentiment. With that result in hand, we can do some output to the console window. We display the original text that was evaluated, and then we display whether it was a positive or negative sentiment. So far, so good. Our model correctly predicted that the sentiment, I love the food, is a positive opinion. We change the sample data to a different sentiment, and again, it correctly predicts it's a negative sentiment. But we can also look at what percentages it predicts a positive and negative outcome. To see the percentages, we have to look at the score array in our result. The first element is the positive score, and the second element is the negative score. Here, we simply display them as percentages. Now we can see our model is 97% sure the text, the crust is not good, is a negative sentiment. But as we know, AI's response is not always perfect. Let's try something more complex. When we give it the text, the place is too hot for me, our model is not so sure anymore. The sentiment could have a double meaning, but it calculated that there's a 75% chance it's a positive sentiment. In all fairness, our model didn't have a lot of data or time to train on, but this is a good example of where you'll have to make a business decision. And for example, say any percentage not 90% or higher is not valid or inconclusive. Thank you for watching our video. For more tutorials on C Sharp, hit subscribe and click the reminder. Give us a like so the video can be visible to more people.